Greetings. I'm Emily Bredhauer, Director of Programs at St. Andrews, and I'm filling in for Pastor Eric Smith while he's on vacation. This is Wakening Grace. Today, we welcome Reverend Steve Petty, former pastor of St. Andrews. Hi, friends. Full disclosure here, the message for today is a setup. This is part one of a three-part message. Part two is tomorrow, Saturday. The final part, the conclusion, wraps up on Sunday. So, part one, nothing ever changes. Are you tired of being quarantined? Are you weary of all the political wrangling? Does it seem this thing will just never end? Have I got a scripture for you? When life just seems like it is one long hike through a mud field, you read Ecclesiastes. It's called The Preacher. The Preacher is not a happy camper. He loathes life. His message is depressing. But the problem is, some of it makes sense. Listen to the opening verses of the book, Ecclesiastes chapter 1, verses 2 through 11. Vanity of vanities, says the preacher. Vanity of vanities, all is vanity. What does man gain by all the toil at which he toils under the sun? A generation goes and a generation comes, but the earth remains forever. The sun rises, the sun goes down and hastens to a place where it rises. The wind blows to the south and it goes around to the north and it goes around into the wind and on its circuits the wind returns. All streams run to the sea, but the sea is not full. To the place where the streams flow, there they flow again. All things are full of weariness. A man cannot utter it. The eye is not satisfied with seeing, or the ear filled with hearing. What has been is what will be, and what has been done is what will be done, and there is nothing new under the sun. Is there a thing of which it is said, See, this is new? It has already been done in the ages before us. There is no remembrance of former things, nor will there be any remembrance of later things yet to be among those who have come after. Wow. The preacher is so frustrated. People keep acting the same way. The sun keeps going around. The wind keeps blowing. The rivers flow to the sea. Nothing changes. People forget what they learned before. They refuse to remember the lessons of yesterday. People in the future will not remember the things we did today. So where is the comfort in that? That is just more depressing. Well, maybe. But think of it this way. People have lived through plagues, pandemics, wars, famines, dust bowls, depressions, all manner of hard times, and they came through. Hard times are not new. This virus may be new, but we have seen killer viruses before. We came through. Plus, historically, when we came through, the times that followed are remarkable. So when you start to get depressed with all the long, how long this is taking, stop and think. And this is what I want you to think. Ready? Advent. Advent. Remember those four Sundays before Christmas when we get excited about all the joy and the goodness of Christ coming into the world? Remember, Advent begins with the words of Isaiah. The people that walked in darkness have seen a great light. Be excited. God will come. The light is going to shine into our darkness. Tomorrow, Saturday, we will hear from Isaiah with a completely different message. So let us pray. Shine a light into our darkness, O Lord. Help us to stay faithful and optimistic in this time. Remind us every day you are with us today, tomorrow, and always. Amen.